Kumusta kayo mga kids? Ito na kagad ang lesson 3 of 3 ng week 1 pa rin. This time, ang ating topic, writing a given number as product of its prime factors. Halina kayo, tayo ng matuto. In the previous lesson, you have learned the difference between composite and prime numbers. This time, you will learn the prime factorization which can help for your future lesson about GCF and LCM. Prime factorization is a method used to break down a given number into a product of prime numbers. This is also known as prime decomposition. If the number is expressed as a product of factors that are all prime numbers, the expression is called the prime factorization of the number. In the previous lesson, we have learned that the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Among of these factors, 2 which is a prime number and 2 is called prime factor of 16. After going through this lesson, you are expected to write a given number as a product of its prime factors. The example below shows how a given number can be expressed as a product of prime factors. Let's express 16 as a product of prime factors. Observe how it was done. Isip ka ng number pag minultiply ang sagot 16. 2 times 8. 8 is a prime number. Then 8 is not, then factors of 8, 2 times 4. Ibaba ang 2, dahil ito ay mga prime number. How about 4? 4 is 4, 2 times 2. Meron ka pa bang naisip na number pag multiply 16? Yes, 4 times 4. So, ang 4 is not a prime number, so 4, that is 2 times 2, and another 2 times 2 para sa isa pang 4. You will notice that they use different factors at the beginning, but they got the same answer at the end, since the task is to express 16 as a prime factors. This means that, you will not stop factoring until you got the prime factors. Therefore, the prime factorization of 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the fourth power. If a factors or prime factor appears many times in the factorization, you need to express using exponent or exponential form. The exponent of which prime tells how many times the prime number used as factors tulad ng 2 to the fourth power. How to perform prime factorization? Step 1. List down the first few prime numbers. These are usually the prime numbers Use in the prime factorization. Here are some prime numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and so on. Step 2. Test the given number if it can be divided by 2 or divisible by the smallest prime number which is 2. If not, test it with the other prime numbers like 3, 5, and so on. 
If the given number divides by the prime number 2, divides it evenly. Then express it as factors. Example, 72. Ang 72 ba ay pwedeng i-divide ng 2? Yes. So, ang 2 ay magiging niyang isang factor. Then, 72 divided by 2 equals 36. So, factors niya ay 2 times 36. Yung 2 is prime number. So, ang 36, kunin pa natin ang factors. Factors of 36, pwede bang i-divide sa 2? Yes. So, 2 times 18. Ang dalawang 2 ay prime number, kaya atin ang ibaba. Then, ang 18, anong factors ng 18? Pwede bang i-divide ng 2? Yes. So, 2 times 9. Ang mga 2 ay atin lang ibaba. Then, ang 9, kunin natin ang factors ng 9. At yan ay 3 times 3. So, ang 2 at saka ang 3 ay mga prime numbers. Therefore, the prime factorization of 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 or 2 to the third power times 3 to the second power. There are two common methods in performing prime factorization. These are factor 3 and continuous division. Look at the example and see the difference between the two methods. For method 1, factor 3, 24. Isip ka nga ng number, pag multiply ang sagot ay 24. 4 times 6, 24 is factored into 4 times 6. You will notice that neither 4 or 6 are not prime numbers. So, you need to continue factoring until you got all prime factors. So, 2 times 2 ang factors ng 4. At 2 times 3 naman ang factors ng 6. 2 and 3 are both prime factors of 24. Therefore, you don't need to factor anymore. The prime factorization of 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 or 2 to the third power times 3. Method 2. Continuous division. Example, find the prime factorization of 36. Divide by the smallest prime factor na ang smallest prime factor ay ang 2. Ang 36 ba ay divisible ng 2? Yes. So, 36 divided by 2 equals 18. Ang 18 ba ay divisible ng 2? Yes. So, 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Ang 9 ba ay divisible ng 2? Hindi. Then, continue dividing by the next prime factor. Repeat the procedure until you get 1. So, 9 divided by 2, hindi pwede. Pwede ba siya ng 3? Yes. So, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Then, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Therefore, the prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 or 2 to the second power times 3 to the second power. Learning task 1. Write the prime factorization of the following numbers using the factor 3. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1, 18. Ang 18 ba ay divisible ng 2? Yes, kaya naman, 2 times 9. 2 is prime number. Then, ang 9 ay hindi pa, kaya, anong factors ng 9? Pwede ba siyang i-divide ng 2? Hindi pwede. Ng 3? Yes, kaya, 
3 times 3. So, ang 3 ay prime number na din. Kaya, ang, ang factors ng 18 ay 2 times 3 times 3. Number 2, 45. Ang 45 ba ay divisible ng 2? Hindi. Divisible ba ito ng 3? Hindi rin. Divisible ba ng 5? Yes. Kaya, 5 times 9. 5 is prime number at ang 9 ay hindi pa. Kaya, 3 times 3. So, ang prime factors ng 45 ay 3 times 3 times 5. For learning task 2, write the prime factorization of the following numbers using continuous division. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1, 36. Ang 36 ba ay divisible ng 2? Yes. So, 36 divided by 2 equals 18. Ang 18 ba ay divisible pa rin ng 2? Oo. So, 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Ang 9 ba ay divisible ng 2? Hindi. Yung kasunod, 3. Divisible ba ng 3? Yes. Kaya, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Ang 3 ba ay divisible ng 3? Yes, syempre. Kaya, 3 divided by 3 equals 3. 1. So, ang factors o ang prime factors ng 36 ay 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Number 2, 42. Ang 42 ba ay divisible ng 2? Yes. So, 42 divided by 2 equals 21. Ang 21 ba ay divisible ng 2? Hindi. E yan ang 3. Yes. So, 21 divided by 3 equals 7. So, ang 7 is divisible by 7. At yan ay prime number. So, 7 divided by 7 equals 1. Kaya, ang factors, ang prime factors ng 42 ay 2 times 3 times 7. For learning task 3, Write the prime factorization of its number. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1, 38. Ang 38 ba ay divisible ng 2? Yes. So, 38 divided by 2 equals 19. Anong number ang makakadivide sa 19? Wala na. Kaya, ang pwede lang ay ang prime factor din na 19 o ang sarili niya. Kaya, 19 divided by 19 equals 1. So, ang prime factors ng 38 ay 2 times 19. For 6 to 10, let us answer number 6. 93. Ang 93 ba ay divisible ng 2? No. Divisible ba siya ng 3? Yes. So, 93 divided by 3 equals 31. Anong prime number ang makakadivide sa 31? Wala na. Maliban sa kanyang sarili na prime number din. So, 31 divided by 31 equals 1. Kaya ang prime factors ng 93 ay 3 times 31. For learning task 4, find the composite number named in each prime factorization below. Write your answer in your notebook. For number 1, just multiply 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 equals 72. For number 6 to 10, let us answer number 6. Just multiply 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 equals 84. 
For learning task 5, find the composite number name in its exponential form. Write your answer in your notebook. For number 1, first simplify the exponential form. So that is 2 times 2 times 2 then times 5 equals 40. For number 6, 2 times, then simplify exponential form 5 to the third power. So that is 2 times 5 times 5 times 5 equals 250. Muli, maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Subscribe po kayo at pindutin ang notification bell para manotipay kayo para sa mga bago nating videos. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!